how to mind your own business. Step one, focus on yourself. Due to the fact that some of you individuals have a lack of lives, you tend to focus on others' way of living since you don't have your own way of living. Now is the time to find your way of living. Read a book, do a sport, paint a picture, or do nothing. Some people make a living out of that. Step two, deactivate all your social media. This is totally optional. Since social media is practically everything to us teens, adults, and kids, sadly, we tend to put our business out there, especially on Twitter. People who have a lack of business minding enjoy lurking everyone else's pages for a living. Well, if you delete your social media, there would be nothing to lurk, right? Now that I think about it, half of you guys would be nothing without social media. Including myself. Number three. Didn't you see what I'm minding my business? Number four, look in the mirror and realize that you're not perfect and you have just as much imperfections as the average person. Meaning your right to be in anyone's business and judging them or their way of living is really small. What you and everyone else needs to be worried about is bettering themselves, not bringing other people down. And if you do feel like you have the right to stick your nose in others' business, I'm just gonna label you as a hypocrite. Because you, as a hypocrite, would be the first to point out someone else's problems. But you are blinded by your ego, that you can't even see your own problems. Number five, ask yourself, why am I in their business? Why am I inserting my Pinocchio nose in others' issues? Why do I care? Once you figure out the answers to those previous questions, there's a slight chance you'll be able to find a solution to your own problems. Your nosy disorder problems. Is that even a disorder? Hey, hope you guys enjoyed my little rant on everyone being in each other's business all the time. The point of this quick video is just to point out the hypocriticism in a lot of you guys. People judge each other on a daily basis and that is completely normal. I judge people all the time, but majority of the time I keep it to myself and judge people inside my head. You can judge people when you want to, I mean that's what humans do, it's human nature. But we tend to hurt other people's feelings when we judge someone's way of life and saying it out loud to other people and spreading rumors. The thing about that and the thing that gets on my nerves the most is it kind of makes you a hypocrite because everyone has their own problems, that's what life is. Life is a big dish of problems, but yet we judge other people's problems but we have a bunch of problems of our own. And it could be little problems, it could be big problems, we got problems and if you're denying it, let me, let me tell you, you got problems. The fact that you think you don't have problems is a problem. What I think the world and this generation should be focusing on is bettering themselves. People will just point out each other's flaws and issues but won't look at themselves. I'm like, dude, you have no right to be hoeing his life, but look at you. You know what I'm saying? All I see down Twitter is people having heat sessions, people insulting others, and I actually found this guy, I'm just going to use him as an example, I'm not going to say his name, but he grabbed a picture of this girl who had a big nose and was judging her nose, but then I looked at his profile picture and was just like, you're not so attractive yourself. It's not even just about looks. Like, people make it seem like looks is the only thing that matters. It's about anything, period. Girls will call each other hoes. Girls will judge someone's shoes or someone's purse that they're wearing. But their style isn't all that great themselves, in my opinion. Guys hoe each other all the time, but they have no right to be saying anything to each other either. It's just like, everybody needs to, like, calm down, look at themselves in the mirror, look at, like, give themselves a reality check. We all have issues, whether it's with our personality, we have personality problems, whether we have problems going on at home with our family, or we have financial issues, or we have issues with the way we look, which I don't even think really matters. You shouldn't point out someone else's flaws like that. And I'm going to be honest, I have before, we all have, and that is 100% normal. That makes us all hypocrites in a way, but it's definitely normal. But now I feel like we should be focusing on preventing that and we should totally try to better ourselves yes i've judged someone before i guess i did the following things that i've listed in the freaking thing but the least you can do as a decent human being is try to help yourself first before you try to help others i hope you guys get where i'm coming from this is definitely the end of my video there will be more videos next week i usually post videos every weekend usually two to three sometimes one if i have the time to click the subscribe button and turn on my notifications as well so you can get a notification sent to your phone every time I upload a video. Also comment below what you think. Um, comment below an example of a time where someone else was in your business and you felt like they had no right to talk. 
Anyway, so much for watching. Before I go, add me on all my social media accounts. We have my Snapchat, which is always Chandler. My Twitter and my Instagram is Chandler Keys. I'm also on Meow Chat. I don't really use it that much, but I have it just to have it. I also have a U now that's also Chandler Keys. All my social media will be uh, listed in the description below. So yeah, check me out on those. And thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.